In this lecture, we're going to cover some important aspects of the Lynx program, and in general, in current biology. We will discuss how we are thinking about layers of cellular regulation and the omics technology that can be used to monitor those layers. When we're thinking about cell regulation, the first thing that comes to mind is the membrane. It's a lipid bilayer that separates the cell from the extracellular environment. Within this lipid bilayer, there are receptors. Those are transmembrane proteins that have extensions that project into the extracellular environment, as well as to the internal of the cell. The extracellular part of those receptors can bind extracellular ligands or small molecules that can potentiate the receptors, change their three-dimensional conformation, and by doing that, transfer information from the outside of the cells to the inside of the cell. This is called signal transduction. Once the information from the outside was relayed to the inside, proteins that bind or dis dissociate from those receptors can signal to the rest of the cell to change its activity. Ultimately, changes in signaling propagates into the nucleus where proteins bind or unbind to the DNA to change gene expression. So the nucleus is separated by another membrane, the nuclear membrane, and within it the DNA exists in uh, chromatin. The DNA gives rise to mRNA that then is translated to protein. So proteins leave the cytoplasm, enter the nucleus, and bind to the DNA. Once those proteins called transcription factor bind to the DNA, they change the expression level of genes, producing more or less mRNA in a process called transcription. The mRNA that is transcribed exits the nucleus and become translated into protein in the ribosome in a process called protein synthesis. We now have the technologies to monitor the different parts of the cell using various technologies. These include transcriptomics to measure gene expression at the mRNA level, genomics that allows to sequence the DNA or the variants within the DNA across individuals and in cancer, where mutations, insertions, deletions, and copy number variation can be detected. At the cell signaling level, we can measure protein expression, phosphoproteins, which are or proteins that have post-translational modifications, that are a result of the cell signaling process. We can also measure the level of metabolites within the cell using technologies that are called metabolomics. So proteomics measure protein levels, metabolomics measure metabolites, genomics are referred to typically the sequencing of the DNA, and transcriptomics measure the levels of mRNA. We also have epigenomics, which are technologies that allow us to understand the chromatin structure and the occupancy of proteins on the DNA. Those technologies include, for example, chip seq and histone modification profiling and the GCP experiments that are done at the Broad Institute are part of this types of omics. We also can measure cytokines at the extracellular space to find out what the cell is exposed to and how, after perturbation, the cell changed the extracellular environment by secreting proteins to signal to other cells. Once cells are stimulated with various ligands and signaling is initiated, typically the ultimate outcome is a change in cellular phenotype. For example, cells die, increase in proliferation, differentiate, or de-differentiate. 
Those processes are typically monitored by imaging of cell phenotype. We now have the capability to measure cell phenotype through imaging in high throughput after many types of perturbations using robotics. So to overview and summarize, we think about cellular regulation at various layers, starting from the extracellular environment, through the membrane, through the cytosol, where cell signaling and signal transduction take place, through regulation of gene expression in the nucleus, and those are the gene regulatory networks that can be constructed, and then the important processes of transcription and translation give us an overview of cell regulation that can be obtained using those various omics technologies. Our goal in Lynx is to combine the data across regulatory layers measured using those technologies to better understand cellular regulation at a global scale.